Today's recipe is a fish recipe for the fish skeptic. A garlicky, lemony, one skillet haddock with all sorts of Mediterranean flavors. Come with me. So first of all, tap your fish dry on both sides. Grab yourself a vessel like this one. One teaspoon dried oregano, coriander, same. For a little bit of sweet heat, Aleppo style pepper. Aleppo is not too hot, but it does have a little bit of sweetness that will complement the fish. It's available via the MediterraneanDish.com. And then a little bit of sweet Spanish paprika. The reason I love to mix my spices first before adding them to anything is so that you have an even coating of flavor on all your fish. A little bit of kosher salt, a little bit of black pepper, Grab the fish seasoning you put together, sprinkle all over. Lovingly rub the fish with the seasoning. Turn the fish over. Use your other ungloved hand to season. Lovingly rub your fish some more. Anything left in here, go ahead and add it. Beautifully coated fish and spices. We're gonna work fast, so no need to stick the fish back in the fridge. Next garlic. Point your knife. Chop like a pro. As if saying chop like a pro actually makes me a pro, but that doesn't matter. Nobody knows that. Bowl. Garlic. I already chopped up some shallots. Check that out. The reason I chop the shallots ahead of time is because I just don't like to cry on camera. A beautiful Roma tomato. We're gonna just kind of, you know, dice it real small. Chop up. A few fresh herbs. I am using Italian parsley. Leave some of the stem on because there's a lot, a lot of flavor in the stem. You need about a quarter to a half a cup and a little bit of fresh dill. These guys are going in later, but I like to be prepared. We're gonna take this party to the stove. Come with me. Extra virgin olive oil. We are going to make a beautiful sauce that is mostly olive oil and just a hint of butter, about a tablespoon. You are on medium heat right now, and you are just waiting for this party to start shimmering. Garlic and shallots both go in and manage the heat because you do not want to brown your garlic completely. Toss, toss, toss. Oh, yes. I can eat this. I, I don't need anything more, really pinch of kosher salt. From here, you're gonna add yourself some white wine, juice of one lemon, creating a beautiful lemony, garlicky sauce. Okay, so cook this beautiful sauce down just a tad, adding in some artichoke hearts. These will add some beautiful briny flavors to this beautiful sauce we're cooking our fish in. Get that in there and let it cook for a little bit. Let's nestle in our beautiful fish. Does not have to be fully covered. Spoon a little bit of the sauce on top. Lower the heat a little bit. Over medium low heat. Cover your beautiful fish and allow it to cook, oh, maybe four to five minutes or so. Oh, yes. See that? How do you know when your fish is ready? It should be flaking super easily as it is doing right here. It is very hard to mess this up. First of all, it's super simple to put together, but because of the darn tasty sauce, the fish remains nice and moist and has all sorts of flavor. We're gonna add the final finishing touches, you guys. A generous handful of fresh parsley, a little bit of dill that we chopped up earlier, if you like them, green olives, a little more briny deliciousness, chopped Roma tomato. And how is this for a gorgeous and simple, quick fish dinner? Ta-da! <laughs> and of course, if you love fish, you've gotta check out some of my other white fish recipes as well. And that's it, grab the recipe for one skillet haddock with artichoke hearts over on the MediterraneanDish.com. I will see you later, ciao.